Hi everyone. Um, so we're gonna do a little fun thing today. Um, and this is we saw chocobo this. Chocobo racing? No, we're not chocobo oh. racing. Oh. I gotta find out where we saw it. Hold on. Oh. We saw this. It was originally created by Sid Bookworm, and Noel Seven Pages did it. Um, and it's called the newly red tag. Is that newly red? Get it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> we're not newlyweds. Uh. Um, we've been married for. Two weeks. All of history. Um, but our anniversary is coming up, so we thought, hey, this would be a fun thing to do for our... our we, we already did our booktube versary, so now we'll do our, our youtube versary or whatever. So now we're going to do this. Um, we were going to do, like, we are going to try to get those, like, whiteboards and write it out and try to film it and have the questions. And then... We're lazy. Realize that would take effort. We weren't about to do that. Yeah, that was a lot of work. And also, we don't have whiteboards. And you could have stolen whiteboards. You should let me know. Oh, you might also know that, like, inflation is, like, obscene. So, I was like, I don't have $9,006 to buy whiteboards right now. So. I could have stolen whiteboards. Oh, well. <laughs> and then returned them. Of course, we would return them. Because what else are we going to do with them? We're going to do them right after you. Yeah, them. right. So, anyway, we don't have whiteboards. And also, like, let's be honest. It's only fun if we don't cheat. So I was, because I was like, oh, well, we've got to make sure that they don't think that, like, we've discussed the answers There's in advance. There's no actual reward for this. Why would we cheat? And also, if you've ever seen this channel, you know the last thing I'm about to do is prep. <laughs> right. So. And also, like, it's not fun if we, if we cheat. So we're just going to do it. We're going to ask the questions. And what they are is they're questions. And I will ask a question, and then Sir Chunk will guess my answer, and I'll guess Ooh. his answer, and we'll discuss if they were, we were right. And I'll be right, and she'll be cranky. Okay. We'll see. All right. So, number one, what is their favorite genre? Do you want to guess first, or should I guess first? I'll guess first. Okay. Your favorite genre is mystery. Yeah, if I pick mysteries, I mean, if I pick the genre, right. Um, that is correct. Yours is horror? Close. Horseback riding. That's not a genre. That's a horror sport. horseback riding. That's a sport. You're a sport. Fine, it's horror. All right, yay. yay. One point for us each. Victory is ours. Okay, victory of ourselves. Number we're, we're two. both in first place and last. Okay, I'm going to guess first. This is what is their least favorite genre. I'm going to say yours is romance. Mine is romance because romance is poop. <laughs> I'm going to actually say... Even though you might lie and say it's romance, you read a lot of romance. I'm going to say it's sci-fi. No. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. It's Western or fantasy. Oh, I should have said fantasy. I like sci-fi. Yeah, I should have said fantasy. I don't know why I said sci-fi, but yeah. Yeah, I don't love romance, but I do like some, so. I mean, you read like hundreds of romance books, so sure, you don't like it. I mean, a romance is fine if it's good. Um, okay, number three. What are their reading essentials? You want to go guess first? I don't even know what this question is asking me. What do you need to have to read a book? A book. You need a book. You probably want like coffee and maybe like a grape or something. No, a <laughs> grape. <Great. laughs> I'm on a grape kick lately. Yeah, she's throwing grapes around. I'm just like obsessed with grapes lately. I don't know why. I was just like, I got like some grapes, and I was like, you know what? I love grapes, and now I'm just like, all grapes out of the time. We don't have any grapes. I need a grocery order of grapes. Anyway. Red grapes, very underrated. You know, the best grapes are supposed to be the purple black grapes, but those we are, haven't. Those are really good too. Yeah, we should try to get some of those. I don't think we've had yeah. any of those. The, the most boring ones are the green ones, those ones that are everywhere. Yeah, but what I can. Mm, red grapes. Anyway, grapes. So, anyway, you like books and coffee and grapes? I don't always have coffee. But you would prefer. Oh, you can use a book, but if you have to say something else, it's probably a coffee. Nope, there's one thing I need. That is as well as a book. Crack pipe? No. What do I have 10 billion of? Crack pipes? No. I don't know. Grapes? I, I, I don't know. Blankets! Blankets? I love blankets. The blankets. Yeah, so I've been reading a lot of ebooks. Or lately, it's been my phone. So, yeah, earlier I was like, oh no, I have to charge my book. Um, I would say you need a book and a bookmark and a light. Well, generally, yes, you need light. I don't, because I read on my phone. But your phone has light. Right, but it produces its own, so I don't need a separate light. But it's still the existence of light. 
Without lamps, there would be no light. Do you need a lamp, a bookmark, and a book? Well, what else do I need? You probably want potato chips, but no, you don't. You don't no. eat. You don't no. eat meat. I need something else, though. Sound. Yes, I need some kind of other sound. Can you imagine? Can you imagine trying to read, and having endless loud noise in the background? That's how he is. He'll have like wrestling going, and like people being thrown into tables, and he's just like quietly reading a book. Like table, I, on the other hand, table. am like, I oh, I think I can hear a ticking in the fan. It's driving me nuts. Yeah, if there's no if there's no noise. I go insane. Yeah, and I go insane if there's any noise. I have, like, it's a great what do you call them? Those noise-canceling headphones? Because, like, I can't stand. We have a neighbor who likes to play basketball. He's not very good, so all he does is just dribble. And then and, brick. And, then and brick. he dribbles brick. for, like, hours. I swear to God. It's just hours of listening to dribbling. And it makes me insane. I'm like, oh, he's out dribbling again. Uh-huh. Yeah. Great story. Okay. So, I guess we kind of got that one right. No. Okay, number four. What is their favorite trope? Should you guess first or should I guess first? Oh, jeez. I'll guess first. I guess your favorite trope okay. is sad girl dealing with bad situation. Is that a trope? And then yes. Nailed it. No, you know what my favorite trope? Well, I, no, can, my, I got it right. My Too favorite late. trope is people brought to an island and cut off and being killed one by one. Yeah, but you also really like sad girl stuff. Yeah, I do. So I'm counting it as a win. I don't know if that's a trope, though. It's a trope. Your favorite trope is, like, the hero's journey slash chosen one. No. All your favorite books are that plot. No. My favorite trope is haunted house trapped. Okay, fine. You don't even read a lot of those. I read plenty of those. Most of, If I look at your top 50 books, like, 25 of them are hero's journey stories. Okay, so it's, it's a, 21. So it's apparently Haunted Houses, even though we, I don't think... When's the last Haunted House book you have read? The Haunted House. What was that? By Edgar James House. I hate you. All right. Number five is what's your most... Anything isolated. This would be Haunted Like, some that are isolated. Yeah, so also people traveled on an island. Yeah, what is... Mine, what's your ball. most hated trope? Do you want to guess first? Um... What do you think your I... most hated trope? Yep. I'm going to go with... Uh, a girl is treated like crap and then likes the guy that treats her like crap. Well, I mean, that's up there. Yeah, the, the bad boy who's basically mentally and uh, physically and some, sometimes physically, but definitely emotionally and mentally abusive. Yeah. But is the love interest? Yeah, yeah. that sucks. That actually wasn't what I was going to say. I was going to say love triangles because I hate love triangles. Well, my answer's better. But you're right. I do hate that. Uh -huh. I know you I'm going to guess. I get, a, I get a bonus point. Okay. Your most hated trope is... Huh. I think it's like kind of along the lines of the chosen one, but it's like someone who magically has all these like abilities that they didn't know they had. Sort of. It's any sort of Mary Sue crap. Okay. Where like someone's just like overcoming obstacles with ease and it's like utterly pointless. They didn't earn these skills. They just have them. I hate that kind of crap. Yeah, right. Like you're like, shouldn't they have like earned them or yeah, like you're gonna be discovered them ninja, through something you need to tell me early on this person has long long trained to be super mega ninja right or like somehow they have some kind of like right. they were bit by a radioactive right. ninja they can't, they can't be like 10th grade for like 200 pages and then all of a sudden they're beating up 12 people at once and they go oh yeah that's because that time he was in that dojo what right maybe they have what is it called the intersect and no, Chuck? They don't they... have that. The Lord Chuck has that. <laughs> well, or, Ch no, Chuck or, doesn't have it anymore. Or what's his name? Sarah has it or, now, doesn't yeah, she? But what's the sidekick guy. Casey? Uh, not Casey. Morgan. Morgan. Oh, yeah, Morgan has it now, right? Who no. has it now? I don't know. Nobody has this. Case. All right, did we answer that one? Yes. Okay, number six an influential book that your partner loves. What do you think is my most influential book? Um, what counts as influential exactly? Just on yourself? The book that, like, Changed your life. I guess I'm gonna go with Catching the Eye for you. Yep. <laughs> Seems pretty obvious. I'm gonna say yours is. Hmm. I'm gonna say the All Spider Man issue. <laughs> I don't know how influential that was. I don't know. It's probably some Spider Man book, or like Secret Wars or something. Uh. 
I don't know, because, like, I guess Salem's Lot. I don't really have anything that I feel like has influenced my life. Like, there are p- books you love. Like, I would say Watership Down. You love that. But yeah, that's not like... Influ- books I like, but I'm like, oh, now I feel compelled to be a rabbit. Right. You know what I mean? But, so... like... So, I'm going to say probably Salem's Lot, because that, like, really inspired you to love reading, right? I mean, I guess. I liked reading before that, but, but or, sure. Choose let, your own adventure let's books? Let's just say that and move on. Because, you know, nothing influences him because well, he has about, no feeling. You know what's interesting, maybe, is this is a good reach. I read uh, John Dye. Why in the Witch in the Wardrobe? Yeah, I read John Dye's at the end, uh-huh. and it was so weird that I was like, I always wanted to write a book that was weird, but I figured everyone would hate it. And I was like, I will also now write the book I wanted to write. But so you haven't then, written anything. This is, no, this is back when I had written some stuff. Oh, okay. That was like a long time ago. Obviously, I've stopped writing because I now despise it. But I used to enjoy it. You should write again. No, I hate it now. Okay. Number seven. Ooh, let's see if we're, we'll both answer at the same time. Uh-oh. So don't answer yet. I'll count to three. A book you disagree on. Ready? Ready? Hold One. On. Hold on. I got to remember the name of it. What the fuck is it called? Well, whatever. Just say what you're thinking in a minute. One, two, three. Daisy the book Darker. That cat. Smashes his face into. Oh, that's Last House on Needless Street. Oh, Last House on Needless Street, but probably even more so is yeah, Daisy Darker. <laughs> that book's garbage, and she loves it. Oh, except you gave me the stand, and that book sucked balls. Yeah, but but Daisy Darker sucks multiple balls. Yeah, well, Daisy Darker was only like three hundred pages, and uh, the stand was a billion. So because you're not a strong reader, isn't my fault, all right? <laughs> you're not a strong reader of words. All right, eight. Who reads faster? I guess I'm going to say me, yeah. <laughs> well, you definitely spend a lot more time reading, that's for sure. That's true. I think we probably read, I mean, if we honestly sat and read at the same time, you might read even slightly faster, or at least we're at the same pace, about the same pace. I mean, obviously it depends, because, like, sometimes you'll be reading, like, a Stephen King book, and I'm reading some kind of, like, fun, like, YA thriller, which is going to read much faster. But I think if we were both to take, like, the same book and read at the same we'd probably read about <laughs> the same pace. Yeah, I don't know. Probably about that. But I read more, so as a result, I tend to read, read a little a bit faster. a lot more often, for yeah. a lot longer, and a lot usually shorter, junkier books. And a lot more consistently, though. Mm-hmm. All right, number eight. Oh, no, that was eight. Nine. Oh, wow. All right, nine. Nine? So you'll answer, and then I'll answer. So, okay. Well, you're going to answer for me. Don't forget. Uh, what are you doing? The rules suddenly change? I know it's, how we're doing. Okay. All right, so paperback or hardcover? Oh, I think you prefer paperback. Absolutely. I want to be able to, like, sl- like snuggle up in the bed with the blanket. I don't want this big thing poking me. And you want to, like, chew on the pages and, like, rip them out and stick some in your nose. And write them and, like, write it. Yeah, but I don't really write it in as much. Stick the pages you together. love, like, nice, yeah, fancy some, hard covers. Yeah, some grapes in between the pages. And you like the hard cover to be pristine, and you don't want even, like, a slight wrinkle on the dust jacket. Yeah, which means you better be folding many pages out of my book you're reading. I use the dust jacket as a bookmark. That's still not good. You stretch out the dust jacket. Yeah, see, he's very particular. Um, okay, do they reread books? Uh, I'm going to say no, mostly for you, unless you have to for school. Yeah, I reread a lot of things but when I have to. I don't really read reread much of anything just for, like, the heck, for fun or anything. Um, you reread books, but not a ton either. Yeah, I don't generally. Here and, here and there, you will. Like, when if it's a series... And the new one comes out, yeah. you'll reread the whole stupid thing again just to get to the, the new book. But if it's I, a series I love, yeah. yeah. Like Harold Potter. I, yeah, I've read the Harry Potter, Potter books a billion times because I would read them. percent is a fantasy world when the next Game of Thrones comes out. Yeah, it's never happening. Reread those. Um, all right. Uh, do they DNF books? I'm going to say <laughs> you generally do not. Um, you just either don't, like, I mean, again, not that you've never not finished, but you don't deliberately. Yeah, it's pretty rare. It happens on occasion, but almost never. Do I? Yeah, you will. Not as much as, like, some random meatballs, but certainly more than me. Yeah, but that's, like, still only, like, a couple times a year, maybe at most. Yeah. There are books that, like, like we both have a tendency to be like, I am not feeling it right now. I'm putting this aside. But that's not because, like, like you started reading the sequel to Catch-22, and you were just like, I'm not feeling yeah, it. wasn't in the mood. Yeah. I've got to go back and read it at some point. At some point, right. And, like, I do that, too. There are books where I'm like, I just can tell. This is a book I might like in a different mood. I'm stopping now. Um, then there are books where I'm just like, no, I'm just not here for it. I don't enjoy it. More often than not, I just kind of get to a certain point, and then I skim it. 
because like I just want it over, but I can't stand not reading it. Yeah, once I've reached a certain point in the book, probably like ten percent, I'm generally finishing the book, even if I hate it. Well, I've had yeah, and I've had books that I really dislike for like ten to twenty percent, and then all of a sudden I really love them, and so I'm always like, what I, if this is one of those? I dislike books for one hundred percent, but I just choke right. that crap down because I refuse to give up. But I always worry that it'll be one of those books that I'll end up loving. Uh, all right, twelve. What is their Goodreads goal? Um, yours is two. Nailed it. He's already done it. Got my Goodreads goal finished for the year by I think January third. What's Ooh. mine? I don't know. What is yours? A hundred? It is now. No, I think I actually moved up to two hundred because I had fifty-two. Then I went to a hundred. Now I'm at two hundred. Well, because... the last I heard it was a hundred. Yeah. Tell me it. I keep changing it just because I'm at eighty-nine books or something. Meanwhile, you can't get your goal. I crushed my goal. Boom. Hmm, let's see. Yes, let's see. This is the intermission. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, well, we already talked about this. Is would you rather silence or ambiance when reading? Nope. Uh, if they wrote a book, what would it be? I'm going to say you would write a weird sort of fantasy, maybe time traveling, somewhat noir nonsense. You're just listing genres I've written. Yeah, I know. That's but... not like, you just, you're like, here are the genres you have written. Let well, me just listen well, to what the would I write? You would write some stupid girl feeling miserable about her life, like all your stuff is. Yeah, that's what I have written. Yeah, and I wrote a noir and a historical <laughs> and a science. Yeah, but then you didn't finish most of them. No, those are the ones I did finish. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, last question. What fictional character would you use to describe your partner? I'm going to see what I think you would say about me. It has to be in a book, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got one. Okay, see what he has to say. I'm I'm kind of wary of what he's going to say. Well, there's so many options here. Um, certainly the consideration of going with Phoebe. But no, I'm going to go with Mr. Norrell. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. He is. I like, as I, I'm not, still only like, I'm not even halfway yet, but I'm like, wow, this is like literally strange and normal are us. Like <laughs> strange is off, like causing all this chaos. And Norrell's like, can I please just stay home and read all the books and please everyone leave me alone. And I'm like, how did they write a book about the two of us? Like Susanna Clark know us or something. Um, all right. I'm going to say, I'm going to say you're going to say Patrick Bateman is you. That you're going to say, I mean, I'm going to say Patrick Bateman. He, but I don't think that's accurate. Yeah, he's way too committed to, like, business and looking good. Oh, yeah, yeah you do not care. Things. I would say, I mean, obviously, strange. Um, I'm going to say, who, what, who would I describe you as based on... I have one for myself, but I, don't, I want to know who you'll pick first. Is it something I've read? Uh, yeah. Is it something I would think of? Probably not. All right, who is it? You have to guess first. That's the whole point. All right, I'm going to say The Hound. Ooh, I do like The Hound. I don't know if I'm very much like The Hound at all, but I do think he's cool. Yeah, you're no. miserable, but with a heart. Well, interesting you should say that, because I'm going to go with Garfield. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Cranky, miserable, and then occasionally he says something funny. Yeah, but The Hound, because, like, The Hound is also, like, protects Sansa and Arya and like he like cares about like oh isn't there also like a is there a villain who protects animals but hates people that's just you're describing me yeah that's you um <laughs> oh the cat's drinking a lot of water all right we're gonna come back and do a tag Hey, okay. I don't care about stuff. What do you mean? You care about animals. Well, yeah, it's true, but the hound doesn't. He's a hound. No, the hand, hound cares about people. They're not animals, though. Well, right, but that's because he lives in, like, a miserable society. Don't we all? But he still cares about, like, we the innocent. We all in a miserable society. And a yellow submarine. Boop. 